my YouTube subscribers, new subscribers, YouTube viewers, and my Twitter followers. What time is it? It's solar battery packs to charge uh, cell phones and iPads and things like that. I do have one. I uh, can't remember. I did buy it on, online from Walmart.com. And this is where we're at. We're on a web page from Walmart.com to show you the different battery, solar battery packs are out there to charge your iPads and laptops. This looks like a pretty good system here. And they're not that expensive. $13.99 to $14.99. And this one looks like it does iPads and, and uh, um, iPhones and things like that. That's pretty much what I have, but mine's a lot skinnier than that. But this looks more outdoors, waterproof more. Uh, yeah, it even says waterproof. And 60,000 milliamp hours, dual USB solar bar. Uh, has a portable um, USB portable solar battery. Um... Um, I just downloaded my uh, photos to my removal drive. That's what that was all about. Um, but they have all sorts of ones. What you're wanting to look for when you want to buy one of these is uh, this, the milliamp hours. How long will it last? How many times can you charge up uh, an iPad or a cell phone? The little one that I just reviewed... Uh, on my last uploads, uh, I could charge my iPad or my cell phone about three times before it needs to be outside to recharge or sticking in a window or something. But like I said, what you want is uh, you might not want to buy these online because on mine, the power button is facing the uh, solar panel and to me that's a bunch of crap there I'd like to be able to keep this in my window and have the back facing inside my rig so I can hit the power button when I need to charge a device like a cell phone or a iPad um, which would be neat who doesn't love free power but like I said these little Burgers, uh, are they got lithium batteries in them, and batteries still don't like severe cold or severe heat, so um, they probably wouldn't take too long to charge up. Probably about four or five hours, I would think they'd be charged up and ready to charge up your phone again, or at least. Keep your phone charged before you go to bed. Um, mine's an OPEC. I haven't seen OPEC. It's a Chinese mode, made in China. But um, I thought I paid a lot more, but it looks like the prices have gone down pretty good. Um, this one for 108 dollars was $2.99 uh, free delivery don't know how big that is kind of like a USB big USB bus system backup for a computer and things like that those are good those are good but that solar uh, portable uh, maybe not portable power station. I guess you got to charge it up at home and then take it on the road or use a uh, um, generator to charge it up. Or you have something like that. That gets a little bit too crazy. Cell phone emergency mobile folding solar power panels. 99 bucks. It doesn't tell you it the amperage, the milliamps. 
This one has a nice little flashlight feature. And that just you waste your power. You should have your own little flashlight used for your rig anyway. Um, but it's nice to have an extra flashlight. Sometimes you can never have enough flashlights. But like I said, most of these things have the power switches facing the solar panel, which is really stupid in my eyes. I'd rather have it in the back so you can keep your panel charging while you're using it. But they're getting tougher and rugger out there uh, for uh, 10,000 milliamp, only $13.99. That's not bad. That bright charge your cell phone a couple of times, maybe. Um, it, just for four dollars more, you get a fifty thousand million with two flashlights in it. So, so now they're getting cheaper and cheaper. I don't know how long they will last. Mine's been—I have mine now for probably two years and it still seems to be holding up pretty good don't use it a lot i should be using a lot um i've just been using my power strip to charge my cell phone but shoot probably save me uh, five or six bucks a month on electricity to use in this to charge my cell phone for free until the batteries inside decide to poop out with mine, though, I don't know if I could replace the batteries. I probably could just have to pry it open and then I have to do go to Battery Plus and see if you have battery packs available for them. Ba um, ba battery Plus always has batteries for almost everything. So, so who knows? They're only good as the cell, the solar cell, you know. Solar cells, they only last maybe for five or six years, depending on how hard you're using them. If you're using them outdoor and they're getting scratched and banged up, you're gonna, not going to have too much fun with them. But uh, they come in different price ranges, though. Um, mine is kind of like this one right here. Auto drive power bank, TSB, A ports, but there's not a lot to choose from. It looks like I think there's only two pages of these things, but they are worth the money, um, especially if you're camping and you need your cell phone. Hopefully, you have cell phone service. If you don't have cell phone service, uh, guess you could. Uh, I don't know what you're going to do then. Probably just use it to hopefully when you had cell phone service. <laughs> you just keep on walking around, waving your arms. Where's the bars? Where's the bars? But, uh, again, this one right here looks like it does a lot. Uh, my pads, MP foot players, cell phones, uh, video games, um, rechargeable headlight lamps, and for twelve ninety nine, can't beat that price, you could buy two of those, and that would be awesome, you'd be using one and having the other one for a backup for later, same with that, that one does uh, phones and but this one looks like it'd be a pretty good deal. Both of them, twelve ninety-nine. But like I said, if I was gonna buy another one, I'd be looking for the power button to be on the back side, so the solar panel I could just stick in my window and have my cord hang out and uh, charge up my device when I needed it. Then I could turn it off when I'm not using it. So that's my opinion about these little burgers. I think they're pretty awesome and they have different uh, milliamp powers. The higher the milliamps, the better. And so, so, yep. 
Some of them are made for backpacking. They have a little carabiner. So you latch that to your backpack while you're walking in the woods. And it's not a real big deal. Most of them need to set up somewhere. Set, set them up somewhere out of the way. Just make sure you don't forget where you put it. It's like, oh, where did I put it? But like I said, severe temps, if it's like real below freezing or above 100 degrees, I would not be stick keeping them in a car for emergency. Back up, uh, unless you're on a road trip, but just, you know, I wouldn't recommend throwing them in your glove box to say, oh, I got a solar backup just in case battery, my car battery dies, my phone's done at the time. Uh, i probably still have it this I'd probably buy this from if I was anybody looking for one just because it does that or that other one which was the down here but did a lot of different things too uh, I would say where is it uh, the one that did everything did Laptop or iPad, or iPads, iPhones, and uh, um, where did she go? That's around her somewhere. But now go look at uh, Walmart.com, see what they got. You can click on what you like, and it'll probably tell you better what. They can do what's not good to do. If it's real good in cold weather, or real good in hot weather. But I could tell you, batteries, they don't like hot and cold weather. They like it just right. Kind of like car batteries. They don't. Car batteries don't like cold, cold weather, and they don't like real hot weather. They like it about 80. 80, 85, you'll be okay. Anything above that, battery start screaming. If I was going to buy another solar pack, I think I'd buy this one right here. This one looks like it does a lot of different things. I know when you're camping, you might not have, uh, um, you might not have Wi-Fi available for an iPad, but iPads are pretty cool. Sometimes you never know might find a hot spot somewhere or if you have an iPhone I guess you can make a hot spot with your iPhone so. but I do like it so you can charge up your cameras or headlight play video games your cell phone or IP or uh, oh, what is that a uh, little, little music thing if you want to listen to music little MP V M M P P player or whatever. I don't have one of those. <clears throat> don't have one of those. I I'm old school. I got a big ass bulky uh, Walkman, waterproof Walkman from the seventies, <laughs> maybe early eighties. The old yellow waterproof Walkman <laughs> still works. Still waterproof cassette player it's like good luck on finding cassette player but what can you do but yeah pretty neat stuff here I highly do recommend uh, getting you one of those things for emergencies or if you wanted to keep your cell phones charged up for free you can't beat that way this one probably be the best one to do it I'd probably charge your phone about three times and within the day, if you really needed it that that often, my cell phone's a fucking energy hog. My battery only lasts for about four or five hours, and it's like dying, dying, plug me in. So I have two options: I either turn my damn phone off to save power and miss calls, or probably just hook up to my original solar panel or my little battery pack it's solar powered 
and just keep it plugged into that and charge it up. But I think for the money, this would be the awesome one to buy. Twelve ninety nine. You afford like two of those, maybe three or four, at that price. And it's rugged. It's waterproofed and dual USB, so your kids won't be able to fight over. It's my turn to charge, but shit. Twelve ninety nine. Buy every kid a little unit. They'll be happy. But again, you're camping. Why are you bringing all this shit? The only thing I can see that you want to bring is one of these. A head lamp thing. It's rechargeable. These are pretty awesome. Nice and bright for night. And a camera. Some kind of video camera to record your big adventures. <laughs> the rest you could just say, that's home time crap, people. All right, well, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.